Hey everyone, it's LaShawn McQuarrie, life coach, speaker, and author of I Am Not an Option, a woman's guide to self-love and relationships. Well, it's day five of my 14 days to self-love video series. And today I want to talk to you about your vision for your life. When you think about purpose and passion and excitement, does that represent you? Hopefully so. But if it doesn't, well, there's great news. You can always change that. But in order for that to change, you have to cast a vision for your life. So what does that look like for you? What does passion look like for you? What does purpose look like for you? And for anyone who maybe doesn't know what your passion is, you're working a job that you've been working for a while and it's your field, but it's not your passion, meaning, if they stop paying you, you will walk out the door and not look back. Or the only reason why you're showing up is because they pay you and it better happen on time. If you feel that way about it, well, it's pretty, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty certain that you're not doing something that's your purpose or that you're passionate about. You're just doing it because, hey, we all have bills and they need to be paid. I get that. But I want you to consider just for a moment, casting a different vision for your life. You know, whenever you're in a space when you don't feel as if you're doing what you should be doing, when you feel like you're here, but you're not really there, and you know deep down inside you that there are some dreams, some goals that you've set for yourself, and you haven't accomplished those goals, it tends to do something to you. So you don't look at yourself in the same regard as you would if you were actually out there pursuing those goals, if you were going for it, if you were at least striving to do what it is that's in your heart, what you really want to do. Now, the reasons why you're not doing that, that will be a whole completely different video series. But for this video series, I want you to just consider putting together a different plan and that's only if the plan that you have for your life the vision that you have for your life if it's not working for you now if it is great job keep it up but for those of you who you're just kind of going through life and it just seems really mundane to you but you know that it's not ah you're not like living out loud it's just not what you want it to be then I encourage you to change that. I encourage you to do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can get whatever it is that you desire to have in your life. Because if you don't, you'll just regret it. And as time goes on, it just seems like it's harder. The older that we get, it seems like it's much more complicated to go for our goals and our dreams. And of course, if you're married, you have a family and you have all these other things, yeah, it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But you can still do it because challenges, guess what? They're meant to be overcome if you look at them that way. Now, some people look at a challenge as something that's just going to take them out. Don't allow that to happen to you. But you deserve it. Love yourself enough. And this really plays into how we feel about ourselves. Love yourself enough to figure out a way to give yourself the life that you really want. There's a reason why there are so many self-help books, motivational speakers, conferences, seminars, webinars, you name it. They're all over the place. Why? Because everybody isn't living the life that they love. Let's just be honest about that. They're not living the life that they love. I didn't always love my life. And I had to focus on that. I had to work on that. And I had to go and say, okay, what else? Because even after you achieve one goal, it's like there's something else. So whatever your something else is, if you've gotten a part of your goal or you started off, but you didn't quite finish, finish the vision. But you have to at least paint the picture first. Know what it looks like for you. And then just begin to put things in motion because you deserve that. You do. You know, when you work in your passion, and I can tell you this, when I write, Ah, oh, I come alive when I write, but I had to allow myself to grow into a space where I was comfortable with my writing. I didn't always identify with myself as an author. 
took a while for that to come, but it was in me and I had to release it. And once I did, I was just like, oh, wow, this is great. This is what that feels like to release the purpose, to release the greatness that's inside of you. And I think that everyone should have that feeling. So if you're not living your life the way that you choose to, go back and develop that self, that part of yourself and allow it to grow and grow and grow Foster your dream because you deserve it. Love yourself enough to give yourself the life that you deserve. That's it for today's message. Until tomorrow, from my heart to yours, bye.